Hey guys, it's Tiny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back inside our Let's Play world. This may tend or turn out to be quite a long episode, so make sure you stick out through the entire thing. Today we are going to be building a skeleton spawner, uh, XP farm, whatever you like to call it, that I found in my world when I was caving. Um, I will try to make this as step-by-step -step as possible, so feel free to jump around the video if you are following this as a tutorial. But without further ado guys, let's jump into today's video. Okie dokie guys, so before I go ahead and get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am semi-following um, Il Mango's uh, XP farm tutorial, but I'm not going to the drastic measures that he has uh, because his spawners are absolutely freaking crazy and I don't think I'll be able to do that at all. So initially what we need to do is for the spawner itself, you need to have uh, two, sorry, two blocks high. So this will be the roof. So I'll just put this here for now, just to sort of let you guys know that. So it'll only be two blocks above the actual spawner and the actual height itself is going to be eight blocks down. So go ahead and leave two blocks here and then dig one, two, three, all the way down to eight blocks. And it will also be a nine by nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig this out replace it in with some of my fancy blocks that I use and I will be back. All right, I've finished the enclosed area and this is what it should look like. It is eight blocks down, making sure that there's only two blocks difference between this actual spawner and the roof of the spawner. Yes, I can hear a spider. Yes, I do need to light up the area for more efficiency. Yes, you should too. So moving on to the next part of this tutorial is placing our water buckets. You will only need two. And what you need to do is go ahead and go one, two, three, four, and then break that fifth block. One, two, three, four, break that fifth block. So essentially we, well, you need to pick which direction you want the water to flow in first. So I'm gonna send my skeletons this way. So whichever way you want to send the water is, yeah, do the opposite direction. Because we're actually going to place a water bucket, bucket there and a water bucket here. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's essentially something that will look like this. And then you pretty much just break the floor out um, and then probably just replace it with a nice block. I'll come back once I've done that for you guys. All right, now that we've done that, you should have these corners be eight eight blocks high, I guess, or eight blocks low. And then this, uh, I guess, lower area, nine blocks. So again, in the corner, it's four by four, and then it just sort of looks like this. I don't really know what to explain that, but yeah. So place a water bucket in each corner up the top here, and it will look something like this. So it'll go all the way to one point, which will be over here. We'll go ahead and break that so the skeletons fall down in it. I like to do like a two block drop so that they can't just stand here trying to get back out of the water because they won't be able to. And then we need to go ahead and dig a tunnel all the way out to the correct position. Now I believe it's 16 blocks from the spawner, but I will go ahead and double check that just so I know I am correct and giving you guys the right information. So give me two seconds and I will do that for you. Okay, so the way I work this out is I literally dig back and look at the actual spawner itself. So you can see fire, but when I go all the way back, the fire stops. So that means the, the spawner itself is not activated. So this is the last block that it is actually activated on. But because I'm going to send some skeletons through here and I want the spawn rates to stay as high as they possibly can outside of all other factors except that spawner block down there, we need to make sure we're sending the skeletons out of the spawning area so that the spawner itself can continue to produce skeletons. So my skeletons are actually gonna come up back this way. And then, so they're gonna come through underneath all of this, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm eventually gonna send them up and then backwards and they will drop here. 
I know, super, super confusing, but it means skeletons will be standing here. They're not, they're not going to be in the activated area of the spawner, and I'll be standing here killing them. So I'm still in the activated spawning area. The skeletons are not. The only ones that will be are the ones that are traveling all the way through and then getting dropped here. So that essentially, basically, in layman terms, makes the spawner work more efficient, efficiently. Hopefully that is... A good explanation. Alright, so I've worked out where I want my skeletons to start coming up, and it is actually, so this is the spawning, this is where they're gonna drop from the actual drop because the spawn is not activated, as you can see. I'm gonna stand here so that the spawner is activated. We're gonna send the skeletons all the way under the ground, all the way to here, and this is where they're going to be elevated up. Now I'm OCD, so I like to change the uh, like the colors and blocks and everything uh, like that are around this spawning platform. But we need to also work out how high we need to take the skeletons up. And I do believe it is 22 blocks, but I will double check just before we go ahead and do that. So I'm going to connect these two tunnels. Now, this is a, a very important part of the video. Go ahead and make yourself a couple of fences. So two fences and two signs. So go ahead and make two signs, which gives you three anyways. And how do you make fences again? I think it's like that. And two fences. Now, you will also need to go and get some soul sand for this tutorial. So make sure you do that. I haven't even entered the nether in this world yet. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the, the nether. I will be resetting my nether though, uh, when the nether update comes out, of course. So just bear that in mind. All right, so I just went to the nether. I got myself some soul sand. Now I do also highly recommend to grab some kelp because you will need kelp in order to actually make a elevator. So I will see you when we are back inside our skeleton spawner, ready to set up this awesome item elevator, or not item, mob elevator. All right, guys, I'm all set and we are ready to go ahead and do our drop system. Now, just a bit of information. Uh, let me just drop this stuff in here. I will go ahead and make it and then I will go ahead and like pause it and make everything pretty because like I said, I'm OCD. Uh, tip of advice to actually count how high you need to go, which is 22 blocks for me. Um, I actually use like a, a block that you can't stumble across when you are going through a cave and just digging around. So I use like a polished block or stone or whatever to keep count of how high I've gone. So just, just friendly tip, just do that if, if you want to. <laughs> All right, let me grab that now that I've dropped it. We will, we should only need one water bucket. So just, just, just keep that, that in mind. Uh, you will need, need kelp as well, of course. So let's go ahead and jump down here. Now, I did say I was going to do two blocks, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do three just to make sure. Now, let me just grab some smooth stone because we will need some smooth stone because I know there's a cave down there that I need to fill in. So let's go ahead. One, two, three. Perfect. Yeah, there's like, I'm going to have to come down here and do a ton of caving. Because this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right. So, one, two. And then three, which will be there. Just getting the start of it. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's just dig straight through for starters all the way to the point that we've chosen, which mine was quite far away. I'm hoping it's going to a line up actually. Might not. Let me just dig up. Oh, is that it? No way, no way, no way. No way did I just fluke that. Not an act, not a chance, not an actual chance. All right, we'll just quickly dodgily change these blocks, even though we will have to change. There's another freaking cave. Great. Okay. So this is, let me just check. This is actually where we want to send these guys up. It is. 
crap, okay, I didn't actually realize I was going to be that accurate. That's actually really cool. Okay, so now that we've got the spot we want to send them up, we need to go ahead and make sure we are going to be enough blocks away. So, of course, water travels uh, eight blocks long. So let me change the base blocks here so I don't have to do that later because we're going to be messing around with the water, which won't be fun. All right, one block of water there. All right, it ends here. So we're going to have to go ahead and place a block here, place a block there. There's there's 100% a, uh, a cave spider spawner here somewhere. Definitely. All right, and then another eight blocks. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we better change this. I'm going to be caving for days. All right, break that, travel along, perfect, and another, I feel like my nose is like vibrating or something. I hope you guys can't hear it in the video because like, I think I can only hear it in my mind. <laughs> that makes me sound freaking crazy, but yeah, whatever. Place that there, this floor too. I'm hoping we're going to get all the way to this point. That'll be really, really helpful if we do. Because then we're going to head up. Sweet. Break that. Oh, perfect. All right. So we're heading, head, we're sending our guy up here. Uh, this is where it's going to get a tiny bit tricky. All right, let me go ahead and head back up to the surface because I do actually need to grab some more water. I probably should have done that a while ago. I'm also going to change the blocks inside my um, my build here, my spawner, just for personal preference. Okay guys, so I'm in the tunnel, I'm at the very uh, last spot here where we are going to send our guys up. Now I just want to go ahead and set up what is needed for this process to work correctly. So this dirt block is the very end where we're going to make the elevator using our soul sand, but we do need to actually place dirt the, there first. So directly behind that, stick a two signs on the two blocks that are directly behind this uh this dirt block now we need to go ahead and break hello what the heck i feel like i've already freaking killed a creeper that was there we need to go ahead and place ourselves uh some blocks like this because water is actually going to flow in here which is going to create some sort of current i think that's the technical term now directly underneath these two signs break blocks like this I'm going to go ahead and make these blocks pretty and the blocks here, right here, uh, let's go ahead and make some more pretty blocks. So that is going to act like normal there. These will break as well and these. So technically one, two blocks from the actual, well, yeah, two, I guess. I don't really, I'm really bad at like technical terms, so I'm really sorry. Place two uh, fences like that so the water current is going to flow in to this what we've just made essentially so I'm going to go ahead and place the water current so it should feed us down because the skeletons will be walking that makes no sense let's change that does that work better yeah let's do three my bad. One, two, three. And then it will join once we've got our elevator here. Now that's the next thing we need to do. So at least that is set up. We can actually go ahead and pick up this water. And now we are going to do the elevator and drop. Okay, so I've written down my... Um, 
my coordinates for this pillar here, which is what we need to actually, well, we need to dig up 22 blocks, which will be these. And I need to actually write down the, uh, the coordinates for this as well, which is going to be X negative 62. Uh, y is, we don't need to worry about the Y. Uh, Z is negative 92. And this is the elevator, just to distinguish between the two. Put that back because we, okay, we've got some water on us. That's what we need. Perfect, perfect. All right, go to your actual uh, elevator spot. I want to be pretty and just put that there. Perfect. Now, this is where we're going to dig up to 22 blocks. So I use granite, polished granite, which is super helpful. I'm going to have to build up some of these blocks as well. But essentially use all these blocks and I'll meet you at the very top once you've used your 22 blocks. All right, so I've just dug up and I've made it all the way to the top. And this is the granite block where the actual drop is. Once you get here, you will need to place a sign right on this block here. So I'll quickly go and make a sign. I know I just left my signs down in my chest. Break that torch quickly torch there and just place a sign there because we are actually going to be placing water here which will run all the way here and drop down I don't actually need to have a sign there because I've made it perfect to where it just drops the skeletons off but to be sure I'm going to stick some signs there anyway now we need to go ahead and connect the drop with the actual elevator so I'm going to go ahead and dig all the way down and replace all the blocks to where the point I meet where I've placed that piece of dirt all the way down the bottom here. So I'll be back once I've done that, guys. All right, we've made our way all the way down here. Now we're gonna do the fun part of going all the way back up because we do need to place a bucket of water at the, uh, at the very top. Um, so go ahead and climb all the way back up. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm so, so bad at freaking directions and tutorials and especially in survival mode. I'm, I'm sorry for this horrible, horrible tutorial, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've made our way all the way back up. Go ahead and place a bucket of water just right here. And we are actually going to dig our way back down very quickly. And hopefully we don't freaking die. I sh probably should have thought this through. Might have to swim to the top to get some air. I don't want to die! Holy crap, that was freaking close. Alright, swim back down. Swim back down. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna make it. <clears throat> go, go. Whoa, we are cutting it freaking close. All right, I'm going to swim back down and actually just block a part of the roof, like a part of the water, because it is just trickling down. I don't know. I'm dumb. Just ignore me. I'm dumb. Oh, we're that close anyways. <laughs> All right, before I break this, let's just go ahead and place some water up here. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to work. I have a feeling I've kind of stuffed it up somewhere. I'm hoping I haven't, but I might actually just break... I'm I'm the queen of stuffing things up that I'm not meant to freaking stuff up. So let's let's just let's just freaking make some stone and just make sure that once the skeletons drop, they'll be able to go down, down, down. Prices are down. Thanks, 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 thanks. All right, so break this. Yep, that's meant to go like this. Uh, I'm pretty sure... How do you even check that it's flowing into there? Okay, it is flowing into there. Alright. Okay. Grab your kelp. It's an infinite water source. Can I grab some water from here? It's not an infinite water source. What's going on? Oh no, you can't breathe, that's right. And just place, place your kelp. I think I said kale, it's not kale, it's kelp. 
Place your kelp all the way to the top like this. And then swim back down the kelp. Have your soul sand ready, guys. For a little kaboot. 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 Oh god, I hope that works. Oh shit! Okay, it works. Alright, that's what we wanted it to do. That's what we wanted. Break the lights, guys. Break them. And then dig down your granite tower. This is honestly the moment of truth. If this fails, my whole episode is a waste of time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly just dump off this stuff. Uh, because we need to make a couple of chests and one two three four five actually give me that we need to make one hopper for now actually place a chest like that and a hopper like that do i have any string i don't one thing I don't have, eh? Alright, okay. Interesting. Uh, pinch that. Make another stack. Alright, so they're going to drop into here. But we need to drop ourselves uh, down into the actual spawner itself. I'm going to use some cobble. Uh, because we need to get rid of the... Let me grab a bucket, actually. Because I need to go back down there and get rid of all of that uh, water for a second, millisecond, bloop, because I need to get rid of these torches. I know, I know, I'm horrible, I'm horrible. All right, let's go back. Let's, let's jump up. Just block this off for a millisecond. Boomp. Alright, that is done. We can go ahead and block this section off for now. I will need to grab some blocks to fill this in with for now. And it looks like... Oh, actually, let's use... Let's use our spew block, granite. We will obviously change the floor. Uh, but we need to make our way... Oh, I probably should have freaking broken those blocks first. My bad. Let's go back down. Please don't spawn. Okay. Now place the spew blocks. And we'll go ahead and break. Oh, I thought I dropped in then. My bad. All right, yeah, they're going to start spawning. Ooh! All right. We witnessed that with our own eyes. Now, this is like the ultimate test of life. The life test. Am I an idiot? Or is this actually going to work? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. <gasps> it works. Oh my god. It actually freaking works. I can hear them. Might just be a little bit slow because obviously stuff. It's not night. So let's just stand here for a second. So I just I just want to confirm that it's working. <gasps> it, yeah, I think it's just I think it's just slow. And it is one hit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm I'm literally gonna end the episode here and I'm gonna Oh, I did actually die 
in between episodes as well. I totally forgot to say that I died, but I'm going to end the episode here because it's working hands off. Hopefully you did enjoy this massive freaking marathon mammoth of an episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, guys. I will see you in the next one. I'm going to go have a snack because I'm freaking, I'm done. I'm actually done. See you later, guys. Bye.